Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold, and it's been three months since I last uploaded a video to this YouTube channel. After a series of unfortunate events, I'm back, I have a brand new microphone, and I'm ready to make a couple of videos. Before you ask, yes, I do have plans to make videos on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. However, I also wanted to make a couple of videos on some of the games which I've played offline in my absence um, since... Um, well, the last three months or so, and the one which I'm going to talk about today is Final Fantasy XV. I mostly want to hear other people's views on XV as opposed to sharing my own. I will share a couple of thoughts that I have, but um, I really want to open up some kind of discussion with other people because um, it's been a bit controversial. It's been a bit of a mixed bag. Some people love it, a lot of people hate it, and I really want to hear what other people kind of feel about the different elements of this game. I personally, first I hated it, I really hated this game, but then as time went on, I grew to love it. I feel like for the first time in a long time, the creators of Final Fantasy have put gameplay before story, and that's very, very abnormal for them to do. Final Fantasy has been a franchise which has kind of prided itself on its narrative and on its stories, but I feel like... Um, as time has gone along, the stories have just become more complicated and more convoluted and less enjoyable. Whereas this game seems to have come to a point where they kind of cut a lot of the story out of it, put it into the movie Kingsglaive, and then said, no, we are going to just focus in on making a really, really good game. And while the story in this game is lacking, the gameplay in this game is fantastic and easily makes up for it. One thing which does work really well for this game is the feeling of brotherhood that's the theme that they're trying to set and go for in 15 and i think they really did it well because um it focuses on the bond of your party members as opposed to characters you've seen in a cutscene only and um i think this works really really well in the same way um you know we cared about epina when we were playing as link in the legend of zelda or the same way we cared about Agaro when we uh, played as the Wanderer in uh, The Last Guardian. Not The Last Guardian, sorry, that's the recent one, isn't it? The Shadow of the uh, Colossus. And the same way we cared about Dogby, um, our companion in Fallout. Our companions, when they are there with us through thick and thin, really, really do kind of become attached to us. And um, we really do kind of care about them. And I think they really kind of nailed that home with 15 and your party members what I really like particularly is how they are constantly talking about the different things you're doing and if you're playing bad they'll comment on how bad you're playing if you're doing something cool they'll say hey you're doing pretty cool and it's it sounds superficial when I say it that way but it's actually really really well done and I almost feel like this is like a theater show with just a very small cast but their small cast that they have and a few acts that they have really really kind of carry uh, the interest of the narrative but what I like the most is the gameplay there's so much I could say and it's just the little things which they've changed the Final Fantasy systems that I really really kind of appreciate uh, the battle system on the whole is fantastic it's very very rewarding it opens up for different styles of gameplay you can be very analytical if you want to use weight mode and Libra or you can be very more action paced if you're into more just uh, keeping things as flashy as possible um, I particularly love the little changes they've made here and there. Things like uh, the way potions work is now different. For example, in previous games, potions would uh, heal you for a fixed amount. In this game, they heal you for a percentage of your health. Regular potions do 50% of your health, and high potions do all of your health. And this is great because it makes potions less redundant, as well as many other items. Um, normally you would hoard all your items and you'll let your healer class or whoever your healer character is do most of the healing work but in this game you actually need to use your items and the items that you have retain their value from early game to end game um, so I really really like that um, overall I've enjoyed Final Fantasy 15 greatly and I would love to hear what other people uh, have thought about it I kind of feel like for the first time in a long time um, Square Enix is progressing forward in a good and innovative way and I kind of wish they weren't doing Final Fantasy 7 next because it's a game which is much older and um, I feel like they will have to some way 
limit themselves in terms of their creativity in order to meet the expectations of the fans. I don't think they will fully meet the expectations of the fans, but in some ways, they will have to make some things familiar, and I don't know necessarily if that's for the best. But those are just my thoughts. I really want to hear what your thoughts are, and yeah, um, thank you very much for being patient and waiting for me to make a new video. I'll talk to you guys soon, and take care.